Don't let your business fail before it starts by choosing the wrong entity. Watch this video and by the end, you will know exactly which business entity your business is supposed to have. But before we jump in, my friends, I'm going to need you to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any wealth building information. Now, let's get after it. The first thing I want you to consider about a business entity is the complexity of operating the business. Some businesses like a single member LLC are simple to run all the way to having a nonprofit where you need a board of directors and so forth. So when you're thinking about a business entity, you got to think about how much paperwork, administrative work do you want to do? The second thing you got to think about is liability protection. You want to make sure that you can separate yourself from the business. So if you're in a business that has a lot of liability, like my truckers, like my surgeons, you certainly got to think about protecting yourself from a legal perspective. The third thing you got to think about as a business owner is income tax liability. The entity that you choose literally will drive the amount of tax that you have to pay. So making certain that you take in consideration the income tax structure and the amount you have to pay is going to be really important for you. The fourth thing you got to think about as a business owner is do you need funding? If you need to get funding and you're going to be asking people to invest in your business, you're going to want to have a certain type of business structure. Perhaps you're going to want to be a C corporation if you're going for a funding round under Regulation D where you're going to go public or maybe you're going to do a syndication deal and you need to be in a multi-member LLC. So the type of money you need in your business also should drive the type of entity. The fifth thing you need to be aware of is what is your long-term plans? If you choose to sell your business, you might want to be in a corporation so you can potentially sell it tax-free. If you want to give away shares, you might want to be in a corporation. You got to know the long-term planning so you can set your business up right from the very first time so that you don't have to redo and cause yourself more headache. And here's the thing, my friends, when you know better, you absolutely have to do better. That is why I want you to like, comment, and subscribe so I can keep you updated on all things business and tax.